Get ready to witness some of the most talented and promising NBA players who have not yet played a full season in the league. From explosive rookies to determined veterans, we've compiled a list of 15 players that played zero or one entire season in the NBA. Let's start with number 15, Zion Williamson. Zion was the first pick of the 2019 NBA Draft and one of the most coveted rookie prospects since LeBron James. In the brief periods he has been on the NBA court, he has dominated the game. His huge body and athletic ability make him a nightmare to play against. However, injuries have stunted his progress and have kept him off the court. Zion has been in four seasons in the NBA and has played a total of only 114 games. Hopefully, he will be able to overcome them and reach his full potential. At number 14, we have Klay Thompson. He's a four-time NBA champion and one of the best shooters in the history of the NBA. In the past, he was also one of the best defenders in the league, and he never missed any games. He was drafted in 2011, and up to 2019, he had never played less than 73 games a season. However, in 2019 and 2020, Clay suffered two major injuries. First, it was the ACL, and the next season, he tore his Achilles. Since then, he has played a total of 74 games. At number 13, we have Victor Oladipo. Oladipo came into the NBA in 2013 and was a true Ironman in his first five seasons in the league. 67 games were the least amount of games he played in that stretch, and his career was going on the right path. However, since then, several injuries have stunted his progress. Since 2017, Oladipo has struggled to stay on the court and he hasn't played more than 36 games in a season. And instead of becoming a star in the league, he has become something of a journeyman. Hopefully, he can get over this period and get back on track. Coming in at number 12, we have Kristaps Porzingis. He was the number four pick in the 2015 NBA Draft. The seven foot three player was one of the best prospects in the draft. His height and defensive instincts combined with his perimeter skills and shooting ability earned him the nickname, the Unicorn. He became a huge star in Madison Square Garden and a fan favorite. However, injuries stopped him from fulfilling his potential. Since his knee surgery in 2018, Porzingis has never played more than 57 games a season. On the rare occasion he has been healthy, he has looked like a real superstar in the NBA. Bradley Beal hits our list next at number 11, as he was the number three pick in the 2011 NBA Draft. An outstanding catch-and-shoot player with the ability to create his own shot, Beal was a prototypical shooting guard for the modern NBA. For many years, he was thought to be one of the best guards in the league. However, after 2019, Beal had a list of nagging injuries and has missed a lot of games. He hasn't played more than 60 games in a season, and his five years, $251 million contract makes him one of the least desired players in the league. Making the top 10 is Kevin Durant, who was the second pick in the 2007 NBA Draft. The Seattle Supersonics drafted him and were extremely happy to see him win the Rookie of the Year award, averaging 20 points per game. He quickly became one of the best scorers and players in the NBA. But KD has played only one full season in the NBA since his debut. Why? Kevin has been sidelined by injuries for significant portions of several seasons. During his time with the Thunder, Kevin Durant was known for his durability, playing 80 games in his rookie season and three more seasons with at least 80 games played. He only missed significant time in the 2014 season due to a Jones fracture in his right foot. With the Warriors, Durant experienced a few injuries, like in his first season, an MCL sprain and a bone bruise, limiting him to just over 60 games. The following season, he missed games due to fractured ribs, and in his final season, he missed nine games with a strained right calf before returning to the finals, where he suffered an Achilles injury that caused him to miss the entire 2019-2020 season, and since then, he has averaged half of the games from the regular season. At number 9, we have Ben Simmons, who was the first overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft. The Australian superstar was getting compared with the likes of LeBron James and Magic Johnson. However, he had to miss his first season due to a foot injury. 
he came back and showed his impressive athletic capabilities, mixed up with great playmaking and defending as he won the Rookie of the Year award. His impressive performances lasted only for two years. After that, he got hit with injury after injury, and he struggled to stay on the court. Since 2019, he has played only 145 games, and he seems to be going backwards. This season, he's averaging a career low in all major statistical categories. 7.5 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 6.5 assists per game. Next on our list at number 8 is Blake Griffin. Griffin was one of the most sought-after prospects in the NBA. The first overall pick in the 2009 draft was a Skywalker and an athletic freak. His thunderous dunks are watched to this day. Blake Griffin missed the first season of his career because of an injury. After coming back, he took the league by storm and won the Rookie of the Year award. For the next several seasons, Blake was one of the most exciting players in the league, and his team, the Los Angeles Clippers, awarded him a five-year, $171 million contract before trading him to Detroit. Since then, injury after injury has taken away from his athleticism, and now Blake Griffin is just an ordinary NBA rotational player. At number seven is John Wall. He was the first overall pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, one of the quickest basketball players in the world with an outstanding eye for a pass, John Wall captured the hearts of fans in Washington. He was the engine of the team for seven years. In 2017, the Washington Wizards awarded their best player an NBA star with a four-year, $170 million Supermax contract. Since signing the contract in 2017, John Wall has played a total of 148 games in the NBA. He is a shadow of the player he used to be. His role has shifted, and he is the backup point guard for the Los Angeles Clippers. At number six, we have Kawhi Leonard, who was drafted by the Indiana Pacers and then traded immediately to the San Antonio Spurs in 2011. The Claw proved himself to be one of the best defenders in the league, and he won a championship with San Antonio. In 2017, he started getting injury-prone, and he played only nine games for the Spurs. He was traded to the Toronto Raptors the next season, and he played only 60 games in the regular season. However, he showed up in the playoffs, and the Raptors won an NBA championship that year. Kawhi Leonard was called one of the best players in the NBA by many people. After the championship run, he moved to the Clippers, and he became injury-prone again. He has played only 130 games in the four seasons for the Clippers. Making our way to the top five, at number five, we have Jabari Parker, who was drafted as the number two pick in the 2014 draft by the Milwaukee Bucks. An explosive athlete with the ability to create his shot, Jabari Parker was looked upon as a future star in the NBA. However, knee injury after knee injury ruined that potential. From a future star, he was demoted to a squad player who couldn't stay on the court. Jabari Parker worked hard to come back to the league, but his body couldn't hold up. He played his last NBA game in 2022, and in the eight seasons he spent in the NBA, he played a total of 300 games. At number four, we have Kyrie Irving, who was the first pick of the 2011 NBA draft by the Cleveland Cavaliers and has been one of the most exciting players in the NBA from the very first minute he joined the league. His dazzling dribbling skills, difficult shot making, and finishing under the rim are a joy to watch. However, injuries have plagued his career, especially in the playoffs. He couldn't help his team in the 2015 NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors because of a knee injury, and he got an ankle sprain in 2021 in the series versus the Bucks. If not for the injuries, Kyrie Irving would be a three-time NBA champion. At number three, we have Joel Embiid, who got a foot injury right before the NBA draft, which caused his draft stock to plummet. The Philadelphia 76ers took a chance on him and drafted him as the number three pick in the 2014 draft. Because of the nature of the injury, the 76ers were overly cautious with Embiid and allowed him two full seasons to recover. Ever since he stepped on an NBA court, everyone could see he was an absolute force to be reckoned with. Embiid has had multiple injuries, especially in the playoffs, and he has never been able to fulfill his potential. If he gets lucky and avoids getting injured in the playoffs, he will win an NBA championship. 
At number two, we have Anthony Davis, who got drafted by the New Orleans Pelicans in 2012. His massive wingspan, defensive intelligence, and ability to protect the rim were obvious. When healthy, Anthony Davis is an MVP candidate, a defensive player of the year, and one of the best five players in the league. But there's one thing he hasn't been able to do in his NBA career. Play a full season. Davis has had his fair share of injuries since joining the NBA in 2012. From a stress reaction in his left ankle, to a torn labrum in his left shoulder, to a strained calf, and a groin injury, he's battled through a lot of pain. He missed at least 10 games in each of his seasons in the NBA, except for his rookie year, and he has played in just over 70% of his team's games on average, which is not ideal for a superstar player. Rounding out our list of 15 players who are constantly injured, coming in at number one is Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is a former MVP and one of the most explosive players of his generation. Unfortunately, his career has been shaken by a series of serious injuries, most notably to his knees. The year 2012 marked the start of a traumatic period that saw Rose suffer a cruciating torn ACL in his left knee leaving him unable to play the entire 2012-2013 season. The following year, Rose made an attempt to return to form, but fate had other plans. He suffered another crushing setback, a season-ending torn meniscus in his right knee that left fans and teammates devastated. He also suffered from various other injuries, such as ankle sprains, hamstring strains, and back spasms that eventually led him to not play an entire season for the league ever again. So that does it for our list of 15 players who are constantly injured. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button from downtown. And for more videos on the NBA like this one, please give that subscribe button a slam dunk.